Yo boys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video today on the channel. Today, we have a My Player video, but it's not a normal My Player player video. Today, what we're going to be doing is telling you guys and teaching you guys how to get your My Player up to a 99 overall as quickly as and as fast as possible. So if you guys do go on to find this video helpful or if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like, subscribe for more My Player content and just overall career mode content as well. One thing too that we're also gonna be talking about in this video is how to get your created player to become captain, take free kicks. And let me just emphasize that by saying this is your created player, not your my player. We're gonna get into the difference between that later on in today's episode. So stick around so you don't miss it. But yes, it is possible for you to create your own player, upgrade your player, and make him be the captain, make him become um, the free kick taker, penalty kick taker, all that stuff. And we're gonna get into that very, very soon, but let's get into the basics of getting your my player up to a 99 overall. So of course, the first thing you guys are gonna do is go in to the player career mode, and before you actually go in to the mode, you're gonna get a screen like this that gives you a 5% boost to all attributes. And the thing about this is you had to have played FIFA my player before you can see at the top of the screen it says welcome back based on your FIFA 18 career mode progress you are entitled to the following perks some of the items are optional please check any items you want to apply to the start or to like to, the, to start your career basically so if you played a lot of career mode on FIFA 18 you're gonna be able to unlock this plus five attribute boost at the beginning of your career mode if you didn't play any FIFA 18 I'm sorry guys you're not gonna be able to get this this is a huge advantage though to starting your career mode plus five to all attributes starting things out it's absolutely massive and that's literally plus five everything shooting pace strength um stamina everything every single attribute is uh, bonus it's plus five so instead of starting out at like a 60 you know five overall player you're gonna start out at a 70 overall which is absolutely massive to get your player to 99 very very quickly so what we're gonna do next is choose our team and this is actually crucial to improving your overall what you're gonna want to do is start at a smaller club now i know a lot of you might want to start as a big team in the premier league but it's really just not smart to do for me i know my my player i chose a Premier league team but if i were you guys i would start at a smaller club i'm gonna start in let's do league one and let's do a team that i like to start with it's gonna be portsmouth because their stadium's actually in the game we are gonna do that and this stuff right here on the main screen really doesn't matter you can keep everything the same it's not gonna affect your player at all in his uh, ability to progress so what you're gonna do next is just advance past this screen right here so now you have the create your pro option or the choose real pro you're always gonna want to create your pro you could choose a real player but um yeah I, I wouldn't do that unless you create your own player and go into that I mean that'd be the easiest way just create your player on the main screen and the customization screen edit all his attributes to 99 but that's a little unfair it's kind of cheating so we're just gonna go to create your pro and this is huge now a lot of people like to start as a center forward a striker I would highly recommend being a central attacking midfielder and here is the reason why being a midfielder you're allowed to unlock so many more upgrades from the accomplishment catalog we're going to talk about the accomplishment catalog later on but a central attacking midfielder you're going to be able to just make your player so much more higher rated and there's just so many more accomplishments you can unlock doing it so i would recommend being a central attacking midfielder if you do want to do striker it's okay you're just not gonna grow as fast uh as you would of being a central attacking midfielder goalkeeper it's really not gonna matter whichever playing style you want to choose it's kind of whatever suits your play style but if you want to be an attacking minding mid uh player i would choose the central attacking midfield position and i would most likely start with box to box because it makes all of your stats pretty high to start off next is going to be the height and weight i would recommend starting out at anywhere between 5 10 and 6 foot it just gives you the best start to your my player experience now as you can see if i start at 5 5 i'm gonna get that 85 sprint speed but things like strength aren't gonna be too high and just right between 5 10 maybe even 5 9 and uh, 6 foot that is gonna be the height you want to start at it's you know very very good to start out at just because it allows all of your stats to be right around the same level as for weight i would keep it around where it is don't go too high because then your strength your sprint speed acceleration is all going to go down i'd keep it anywhere between 170 and i'd say probably 
160. That's a good range to go for right there. Now, if you want to play for your national team, you can start out as a big nation, but you're not going to get called up right away. I like to start out for like a middle tier nation and make sure you choose a nation that's actually in the game. For the sake of this video, we're going to go with the USA simply because they don't have a lot of high rated players and it will get called up very, very soon to play for the national team. All right, now it's time advance in tier my player career mode, boys. So as we enter the career mode, there's so many things to talk about now on how to improve your overall. The one thing I do want to discuss is the reason I told you to start at a smaller team First, you're going to get to join the starting 11. Like, you're basically going to be right in the starting 11. And second off, you're going to have a very, very high chance at doing things like taking free kicks and whatnot. So, yeah, that is one of the big, big reasons is free kick taking. I know I told you guys that there's a way to make yourself take free kicks and become captain. We're going to get to that a little bit later on. It's not actually going to be in this my player. You'll see. Just hang on to figure that out. The next thing we're going to do is go over to the accomplishment page. And there's so much we can talk about here. Of course, getting accomplishments is the main way to do things besides training but it's how you get the accomplishments. And let's start out by clicking on the physical. And what you guys are going to want to do is just play a lot of games. And if you honestly want to, you can go into a game and sim right away and do that for a while. And as you complete matches, you get accomplishments. As you can see, matches completed. Once you complete 10, 20, 30, 40, you're going to get a bunch of different things like right here. Complete 20 matches, plus one penalties, plus one penalties, plus one penalties right there in the shooting catalog. We'll go over to passing right here. Um, unfortunately, there isn't com matches completed in all of them. They're mostly in physical. So right here, 12 matches completed. You get plus 12 reactions, 50 matches, plus two reactions, and so on. When talking about the my player, a lot of people want to know how to increase your skill moves. And the way you do it is beating players using skill. So first to unlock four star skills, you just need to beat players off the dribble right here. So I've after you beat 75 players off the dribble, you'll unlock four star skills. And then you need to beat 100 players with skill. And there's one super, super easy way that you guys could do this. I'm going to show you guys something on the screen right now. You should be seeing my gameplay right here. You're going to want to do ball rolls and fake shots and just beat defenders with that. And it's so easy to do just a little flick over for the ball roll and then um, X to A or square to X, I think on the PlayStation, I'm on Xbox. So obviously I'm gonna know the Xbox controls. That is giving the fake shot. And just doing those and beating players with those two easy skill moves is the easiest way that you can get your player to five star skills. It shouldn't take more than a season for you guys to unlock five star skills. Another good, good way to unlock a lot of these accomplishments is just winning the man of the match. And you can do that by scoring like two goals. If you get two goals in a game, you're going to be man of the match. And as you unlock more man of the matches, you'll see here plus one attacking positioning, plus two, plus three attack positioning. That is another just super, super easy way to get your overall up. All right, now it's time for the most crucial part, and that is training. I'm going to show you guys the easiest training drills that you should be able to get an A or a B rating every single time, and they're going to be the best for you guys to improve your player to a 99 overall. The first out of all of these training sessions is going to be the precision penalty drill. You're going to upgrade your finishing and your penalties. Such an easy drill to do. And getting your finishing up is super, super crucial. That is going to be drill number one. Drill number two is going to be the race against the clock drill. It's another one. You know, it's a little bit more difficult, but you get your sprint speed up, dribbling, ball control, agility, four super, super crucial stats for you guys. So that is going to be the second drill on the list. Another drill that I'm going to consider um, switching in, you can do this one in replace of the race against the clock. It's the one-on-one -on -one shifting gate. I would maybe switch these out every single session. The only real difference between these two, uh, two drills is the one I just showed you upgrade sprint speed. This one does strength, another very, very crucial stat. So I'd probably consider switching those out every single time since you can't do both of these drills right here at the same time. Each different training session, just, you know, rotate between both of these. So the third drill is going to be one that involves free kick. Now, if you want it easy, I would start with the direct free kick. If you actually want to play all the drills, I would start with the direct free kick. But if you're simming them, I would go straight 
to the uh, direct free kick adept right here and i would i would send this one it's very very hard to do starting off you're not going to do well if you actually play this drill right away going into your my player i would simulate it boys i i find that it's very very difficult to play on your own so simulating this one is going to be drill number three on the list so as you guys are going to be able to see there's no more set pieces available no more shooting drills available the only ones available are passing and defending defending isn't super crucial to start out so what you're going to want to do is head on over to passing drills and here is what you're going to do crossing is one of them you're going to want to do it's very very easy to get your crossing up really any of these will work if you find yourself struggling on the hard one just move down to the medium if you find yourself struggling on the medium one move down to the easy one but if you're just simulating always go for the hardest drill because you know most of the time you'll get c's and d's but every once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll get a b or an a on the rating so i would definitely go with this one for the passing drill and the final drill you guys are gonna want to do is also passing again we're just gonna stay away from the defending drills if you want to you can mix in one every now and then but i would stick with this one and for the passing it's really going to be the same thing the hard one is very very hard to do on your own the pass between dummies very very easy if you're playing the drills i would definitely do this one i would not recommend doing the one two passing easy it's way too easy definitely either go with the medium or the hard again if you're simulating stick to the hard and these are the drills you guys are going to go with using your my player and of course i'm not going to be playing any of these right away i could but for the sake of the video we're just going to simulate them and see what we get so we get an a on the precision penalty c d b d so a lot on the gold ones like i said you're going to get a lot of c's and d's on the gold one every once in a while you'll get lucky with a b or an a so as you see uh could see we got a b right there in one of those drills so with that that is basically it for this portion of the my player video i'm going to show you guys a way that now you can actually make a player make him captain make him the free kick taker and it's going to be a little bit difficult and well it's not really difficult but it's just different from the my player mode let's get into that right now so here's how you guys are going to do this first you're going to go and create your own player now this is going to seem a little like weird like it's kind of as if you're cheating but trust me trust me boys it is going to work now you can definitely just you know edit him however you choose to do so put him on the team you want him to play for i guess for the sake of this video we'll put our player on arsenal just because it's the first one that pops up we'll keep all the names the same um who is this jordan edwards is gonna be the name of our player and of course edit him how you like i'm just gonna keep my player the same right now choose his position um for this right here it really doesn't matter and now we're gonna head over to the categories for me i would keep everything the same except maybe put weak foot up to five it, this is a little bit cheating but you guys are gonna see it works out in the end for me, it's your player is going to start at a 50 overall if you just don't choose to upgrade anything. So I think I'll uh, stick up for the challenge right here. This isn't going to be a way to get your player up quick. So, I mean, you can choo choose to start about a 99 overall or you can not add any of the stats and make them start as a 50 overall. That is what we're going to do right now. Let's apply these changes and exit. Now, here is what you do, boys. You aren't actually going to go in to the player career mode instead you're gonna click new career you're gonna go into manager career right here and this stuff really it, it doesn't really matter too much now doing this you're gonna click on the team you're gonna to want to do and you're gonna keep the manager really doesn't matter at all let's go in and you start your career mode right here all right so once you're in the career mode you're given all of the roles of the manager but also all the roles of being a player as well. So it's basically like a my player and a manager mode combined into one. So you're gonna be able to start every game, take every free kick, and you're also going to be able to become captain. So as you guys can see, we have our player right here and we're gonna put him in the starting 11. For some reason, he started at a 48 overall, not too sure why. So he starts somewhere around a 50 overall. And here's what you do. You have your my player. You can maybe set goals for yourself. Maybe you start him as a substitute and work your way on. You can set a goal. Hey, when I become a 60 overall rated player, that's when I earn a spot into the reserves. When I become this, I make my way to the starting uh, 11. You can set your own goals for yourself. And here's what you do to become captain. You just go to the instructions or not instructions, but roles. We'll select captain. It will move it to our my player. We'll do free kicks to our my player and that's all you have to do i know it seems like it's cheating it kind of is but it's a fun new way you could twist up your my player experience by instead of actually going into the my player mode you now have free reign of the entire team 
and free reign of your player as well. You can go down here to the bottom corner, and if you want to edit your player's look, you just find him on the starting 11. It's just like the My Player, it just looks a little bit different. So we'll find Jordan Edwards right here, and you can change all his accessories and all of that, and you'll be able to actually upgrade your My Player as time goes on if you can in doing this you can also start your player out at 16 years of age i think we forgot to edit his age so my player is actually going to start out at 33 years old from the year that we gave him but you can start your player at 16 years of age which you can't do in the normal my player mode you have to start him out at what i believe um 21 years old which is absolutely ridiculous in this game but as you can see right here i'm starting out training him with different um drills and whatnot it's the same as the my player mode boys but the only difference is you actually have to control the well you don't have to control the old team you can simply control your player which i'll show you how to do in a second but let's go into the training session right here so we're gonna do a few drills for my player and a few drills for other players and we're just going to simulate them right here and next i'm going to show you guys how you just control your player all right so what you guys want to do to play as just your player is go into play match choose your squad choose your kits just like you would normally do and then instead of playing the game you head on over to lock to player and you do home you find your my player bam you have a my player mode within manager mode you can do everything and more in this and as you can see our players captain let's go into the game and see how this looks so we're loading into the game right now and i'm going to show you guys how it looks to just control your player again this is the same thing as the my player mode i'm telling you guys it's just um it just it feels a little bit like cheating i know i've said that a few times already but it's it's a new way to experience the my player mode and since the normal my player career mode doesn't allow you to actually become captain or choose to take free kicks or whatnot this is a really really good alternative let's just skip into the gameplay or as you guys can see we got the red bar above our head and we're only controlling our my player so with that being said it's gonna be the end of the video hope this was helpful for you guys making your player become a 99 overall very very fast in a very very quick let me know and send screenshots to me over on um twitter or instagram at b 4 lancer 48 how you guys are progressing in your my player career mode as we're trying to score ourselves a goal right here but yeah send me pictures and let me know via um instagram twitter all that stuff thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you for another upload later on see you boys then peace